you guys asked and I really wanted to deliver. Good morning. I haven't done this in a very long time and I don't know what it's gonna be like. Can you see? 6.42, got my first coffee, I'm all ready, I set up my camera and today I'm going to do a chatty makeup tutorial. Oh, I lost the hair tie. Have I done one of these ever? Or in a very long time? In a very long time for sure I haven't. I tried to set up the camera and try to kind of see what this is gonna turn out like. I just know that not everyone is always interested in makeup tutorials, but some one thing that everybody is usually interested is in chatty videos or like me talking about a particular topic or something. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to be talking to you guys and doing my makeup for the day. Today I'm heading to London. I have an event this evening since it's not even 7 a.m right now it means that this makeup really needs to last first thing i'm gonna apply on my face is the la mer the treatment lotion before i start i just wanted to say not a single thing in this video is going to be sponsored this video is like really how i do my makeup every single day of course i receive some of these products for free but i will annotate that in the description box though honestly like nothing has like my opinion are not affected opinions are not affected on what's been gifted and what's not the treatment lotion from la mer i use always before i start my skincare because it kind of makes all the good stuff stick to it more what you guys will notice is that i have two breakouts here and that's because my skin is still recovering from dust attack that it had last week because of the housework this is what i'm doing whole day long after that i use la mer the regenerating serum this is a new serum i really enjoy it to be honest my skin really really loves it it just feels good and what i love is that before makeup it feels great you know sometimes you apply certain serums especially have this with vitamin c ones when you apply them they, and then you apply a next product on they kind of like as you as you keep applying they kind of rub off and makeup doesn't sit nicely on them do you ever have this problem maybe it's just me i'm gonna need a mirror I hope this mirror that is a little bit in the frame is not going to be annoying you but I need to look at myself while I do my makeup. Today I'm going to London and I have like a, quite a few things going on during the day, like a few meetings as you guys know if you were watching the previous videos. I have a few new team members so I'm just trying to kind of like see everybody and catch up with everybody and make sure that everyone knows what they're doing and they're on their track because at the moment due to kind of like what's going on huge amount of work and new things coming in for 2020 i am not able to have a lot of contact time but i have a lot of time that i'm spending in london i don't know if you noticed i'm spending more or less each week three days in london that will change next year when i officially um, move we still haven't finished the housework my favorite cup so hi to all of my california la crew we still haven't finished the housework it's gonna be done approximately i think on wednesday but then it will take two more days to clean everything and to finish everything and to put finally everything in its place the only thing is that it will take around two days to put everything in its place and then i should have weekend in the most perfect thing third product that i'm gonna be using is also by la mer this is interchangeable i kind of use different foundations all the time i would say my favorites are so today i'm using la mer the soft fluid longwear foundation patrick ta my boo has matched me to actually two different shades in january but i was a little bit more tanned and i was between linen 13th and buff so i would be using these two together but actually this is mine now that i'm pale and this is usually mine when i'm a bit more tanned or when i'm in between i mix the both love it i actually like using this foundation right now because i have these breakouts and i have these situations going on my skin and i know that this is like a longwear foundation so it will last me the whole day it's kind of like a fusion of like skincare still a little bit it will be good for my skin other foundations that, than this that i love i love this chanel le beige's water fresh tint do you guys remember this i've spoken about this in april i love this it's really interesting nars you guys know i specifically love the most natural radiant longwear foundation i am in shade it's difficult to know but this is not my shade anymore this is my summer shade barcelona i think i'm like santa fe i don't know if they make it in this like if they make Santa Fe in this one. But I also have Salzburg in the drawer. And I think that's too light for me. 
I love Huda Beauty for like super heavy, usually for nights. And this mine is in shade Custard. I will link everything below. Today I will be using this one. So I just usually apply it a little bit on a foundation brush and then I work it. There's a lot of changes going on and it's a lot of changes at the same time because there's changes at home, changes at work, everything's going on when it comes to work. I know most of you are often interested in like terms of these things but I'm working very closely with my agency, planning 2020, like what will I do different this year? Because you know, like every year you have to do something different. You have to show new things, add value to your audience, show them what they want to see, give them something new. And that's what I really, I'm so clumsy today. From 1st of December, we start Vlogmas and it's so soon, you guys, it's in 10 days. So. That's as well why I'm meeting with my team because I just want to make sure that we're all in line. I'm preparing also a lot of things for Black Friday, which is just before Vlogmas. So starting with Monday of that week, which is, let's see, this is an announcement now. Starting with the 25th of November, that week we will have uh, three, we three videos in a week. I will do a video on 25th, which is Monday, 27th, which is Wednesday, and 29th, which is Friday. And then on Sunday, Vlogmas begins. For my European followers, I will be publishing videos, I think, earlier in the day. Not at like 5 p.m., but a little bit earlier, so that you can have time and see everything. So I will be working on my um, Black Friday selections like what I recommend, what I think you should buy. I'm doing a lot of research already, both my team and I, on the best discounts, on what to do, etc, etc. So we're preparing you a lot. So here, this is the face full of foundation now. I, I usually do like a very, very thin layer and then I do two kind of layers just so I feel like it's, it's better. It's not cakey. Look, it covers really well. I think there's no concealer right now on anything. And I think my face is pretty uniform. Under eye, I love using Benefit Boeing uh, Cakeless Concealer. Usually it takes me, like, I, I kid you not, very little time to do my makeup. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in and out. In 10 minutes, I'm done. But now I have to talk as well. I have two shades, number six and number three, and I actually mix them up. This is the problem when you're a girl that likes to tan. Even though I never tan my face, it still picks some sun. I have so many different shades of foundations and concealers because I'm never the same shade. And I'm already gonna apply on my eyelid my YSL Couture Primer. Mine is in number one. You guys ask me this sometimes. It's usually supposed to be kind of your skin tone. But as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than my lid because I really like to have it as a good base for eyeshadow. And this really makes your eyeshadow last throughout the day. It doesn't like crease in the lids. Another thing is that it stays all day. Love it. This product is incredible. Incredible. Just a little bit smarter the concealer under the eye. Just a little bit. Not too much. I'm not gonna fully blend it in. I'll do that later. I'm gonna start with eyeshadow. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna use. There's so many amazing things right now. Have you guys seen the NARS? This is the NARS Holiday Palette. It's so beautiful. NARS makes my favorite eyeshadows. This is hype. This is what I'm using a lot. Let me show you my three favorite NARS palettes. Wait, one is missing. Problem. There's one missing. But uh, these are my favorite wanted, like, all year. I love it so much that I even use the travel size of it. Like, look at this. So this is the their holiday palette. And then third favorite is called Ignited. I love it so, so, so much. Here is... The palette what it looks like it's pretty dirty because i use it on daily basis i love it so much and my favorite shape colors to use are these two nudes this gold which is like so indented and this red kind of i wanted to tell you something very excited as well, exciting as well my english is not the best this morning or any language in the world let's see if you're gonna see this my eyebrows i'm not really touching much late today or lately because they were microbladed you saw that in a vlog Nez, are these gonna be my new eyebrows? I think it's been like 10 days now. Yeah. 
almost two weeks. I love them. I'm obsessed with my eyebrows when they're freshly microbladed and Ness does such a good job. They're still a little bit flaking, but um, soon they'll be great. I want to tell you one more thing is that so with this brush, I'm mainly applying the color in the crease. The color I'm applying is this one over here. It's sort of like a matte camel beige color. I have a mirror there as well. One thing that I'm trying to do, and I want your guys' opinion on it. I am reviving my blog. I have now enough team members to really help me do it. So we're also changing up a bit the topics and the teams on the blog. They're gonna be more informational and more like value given. It's not gonna be life advice and I don't know because I've kind of done that in the past already as you know. Yesterday I published a blog post which is all about the Chanel 19 bag. You guys have asked me what do you think about the bag? We want reviews, we want reviews. I think sitting in front of a camera and doing a traditional review on the bag might be a little bit boring. So I've written a whole blog post about it and I would love your feedback on it. So I have linked my blog just here as like the first link in the description box for you guys to go and check out, to read, to have a look at and let me know what would you like me to post more? What would you like to see on the blog? Because I want it to be like a 360. I'm gonna spray this on over Omaravita, Queen of Hungary Mist just a little bit because I want a bit of dewiness to my face. I usually do this throughout doing my makeup to kind of settle it better. I don't know why, but I do do this. Please go on my blog and leave comments. Please let me know what would you like to see more. Is it outfits? Is it beauty? Favorite beauty products? We could do that. Like, you know, I want to do something that's really interesting and really kind of value given, like, like tips and tricks and uh, outfits and maybe travel diaries, anything that you would like to see, let me know in comments on the blog. You don't need to register or do anything, you can do it fully anonymously. So if you hate it, leave a comment to say you hate it because, I mean, be a bit constructive about it. If you don't like it, say why don't you like it, but at least we can improve. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that under my eye, I'm using a mix of that same color and the red just to kind of give it a bit of definition, just a little bit. Now, I do the next step with my finger, so I put it in this gold color. It's really beautiful, it's like a champagne-y, shimmery gold. And I always have this in front, like here. You guys always, always, always ask me about this one. I love it. 7 a.m., some emails are already coming. So this opens eye a little bit more and makes it look more awake and kind of, you know, fabulous. Or at least I say that to myself. Next thing, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs Earthquake. I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner but kind of because you know I need to last with this the whole day. I just want it to be very 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 casual. What I do is obviously I, I outline it like it is an eyeliner and then later I will smudge it. It gives really nice definition to the eyes. Also guys you recently asked me what happened to my lashes. Are there any long-term effects from using castor oil? Absolutely no, and Revitalash. I still use them, but actually I made a little break. I'd say since Berlin, since my trip to Berlin, I haven't been really looking after my lashes. It was like the whole craziness at home. I, I didn't even know where I put anything. Even like skincare was very basic. I'm getting back into it. I'm still very happy with them, but I've, as I've told you in that video, the moment you stop using castor oil or Revitalash, you do notice there is like that, you know, these products really do mean a lot so the moment you stop using them you notice the difference and i've stopped using them for like three weeks now but i'll go back into it and by the time it's christmas or even before in like two weeks time usually i give myself like top up time they will be amazing so this is where we're at now can you tell and now i just match this with my finger but like really gently because I don't want to like, you know, wipe it off. I just want to smudge it. And now to add like an extra oomph, I'm going to go like on the second half of the eye and add this mix of these two reds. Kind of brownie red, but has a bit of uh, terracotta. I would call it terracotta. I need to book one of those like facials that I go to in Harrods with my doctor, my dermatologist. Cause he's just amazing. And I really want to have glowing skin for Vlogmas because you guys will see me more than ever without makeup. As every year, Vlogmas is going to be very spontaneous. There's not really much staging going on. It is what it is. 
I'll spend like some time with my friends. I'll be working a lot. It'll be a very busy December, but I'll try and really honestly take you into my life and show you every aspect of it. So the lip liner I'm gonna use, my favorite is Rysel in Sahara, but I don't know where it is right now. Let's use the strip down from MAC. So this is max strip down and on top of that I'm gonna use Dior Lip Maximizer. This one is kind of like a bit of a nudie one, shade 13. I love this, this is my favorite. This hydrates my lips. It does plump them, kind of in a way, but I'm very bad at noticing those things to be very honest with you. As of now, I just love the shade. I love the effect and it has like a cooling effect so it makes your lips look really perfect and plump more of Omar Avica, queen of hungary because next thing is finishing off my skin before i do the mascara and stuff like that for my skin i'm gonna use this beloved product this is chanel uh slate hand chanel i'm really loving chanel especially when it comes for like skin products base products actually there's a lot of products and lip products as well this was one of the products that i used to save money for when i was a student and i remember like buying it and being like so broke afterwards but it lasts like forever and in the summer months this is basically my foundation i don't use foundation in the summer months and it really adapts to your skin it's only like universal there's only like one shade so it adapts and i really love that adds a bit of nice color to my skin that's where i apply it it's not like a contour it's more like just warms up the face and then i have a hair from the brush i'm not very good at doing these tutorials right but you guys asked and i really wanted to deliver so that's basically what it is one of my absolute favorite products i can't believe it's gone where is it there's something going on in my drawer and I think it's something that it has to do with the whole like house renovations because I can't seem to find very many things. My Laura Mercier bronzer is missing and that product is irreplaceable, literally irreplaceable. But I will use Laura Mercier uh, blush contour infusion in fresco, so that's very important. I love this look. Like the color is very natural, but very perfect and autumnal. Laura Mercier like makeup is just divine. That and the caviar mascara are probably like my favorites. Look at what a nice natural color this adds. I love it. Really love it. And then we should really add a bit of a highlighter, shouldn't we? Let's go for the Tom Ford Glow Drops. This is kind of a blush, kind of a cream, but what I do with it, I make it into a cream on my wrist first by doing this. Wow, my camera just automatically stopped filming. I think it decided that I wore it enough. Next up is mascara, and I'm almost done. What time is it? It's 7.11. I think I did pretty well because I need to leave home in like 20 minutes. I will use the NARS Climax Mascara in Explicit Black. This is like a tiny little version that I have. And it's what I use when I travel. I love it. It really adds like nice thickness. It's just a great product overall. I just realized I wanted to add a bit of oomph to my eyeshadow. I love using these. Uh, so I've got this eye tint from Giorgio Armani. This one I've discovered during Venice Film Festival. It's in shade 41 and it actually stays whole day on. Like, look at it. And it's really great. So I want to add a bit of that. Sometimes I do these things, you know. And I want to add it specifically to the bottom lash line because it adds something really perfect and you know what these final touches i always realize as i'm doing my mascara this product is like one of my absolute favorite products so huge massive thanks to the makeup artist who introduced me to it I have one more thing that i'm obsessed with but it's this one can you see and i'm just gonna go over what I've already got with this because this adds like a bit of a three-dimensional golden mono eyeshadow. I love this product. We'll link it below. Now let's finally proceed with the mascara and we're ready and we need to go to school and work. Well, Stefan's going to um, school. I'm going to work. Can you hear him? waking his brother up i'm sure his brother is so thrilled about it by the way the new piercing is here guys can you see it i like it but i think i'm going to change the earring as it heals a bit to get a bit more creative 
I'm preparing so many things for you for Black Friday. So many discounts and so many fabulous things. So I cannot wait. So yeah, December is also going to be a lot of travel. I'm going to Switzerland. That's for sure. I have a few things going on. But you will have to wait and see as the time comes. This is the mascara now. The last thing is Queen of Hungary. And this is the final makeup look. I do like to use setting powder and I use the Laura Mercier one. I can only see this one, but this one's a little bit dark for me now. It's It says it's translucent, but it's in medium deep. But it's honestly like the best, best, best um, setting powder, the Laura Mercier one. I also have the Chanel one, Powder Universal. Basically what I think happened is last week I put these products in my bag and they stayed there. And now I don't know which bag it's in. I'm gonna go and have to dig to find my favorite products. So this is it. Makeup's done. I'm done. I'm ready for a day in London. Now I'll pack these two lip products, Dior Lip Maximizer and MAC Strip Down. What else should I bring throughout the day? I'll bring my Narcissist Wanted Travel Palette. It just contains the shadows that I need. I love this. I'll add this for my Jacobs. I think that's it. Okay, guys, so that is it with the makeup. This is my final everyday makeup look. It's very simple, as you can see. I was chatting probably too much, and probably nothing really makes much sense. We'll, all the products will be linked below, so you guys can check them out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys!